CTAC is a professional organization um, made up of scientists from environmental toxicology and chemistry backgrounds. It actually stands for the Society for Environmental Toxicology and Chemistry. And it really helps evaluate chemicals in the environment um, and its interactions with um, the planet. This conference is on the Gulf oil spill. It was in Pensacola Beach. Uh, we wanted to bring uh, financial contribution back of having a, a conference in the area and, uh, and really the, you know, explore the importance of what we can do as scientists um, a year later, uh, both the information that we've learned as well as what we need to learn um, in the next years to come. This particular conference is the first of its kind, to my knowledge. I, I was uh, speaking to one of the, the co-chairs, and they said this was the first time when they took an incident-specific um, circumstance and turned it into a conference. There are almost 250 um, individuals here representing science, industry, and academic and government to come forward uh, to collectively have a better understanding of this incident in particular. It provides a forum of exchange, it provides a forum to learn, and it provides a forum to, for future planning. Because once we have the data and the conversation, we can take it forward to how can we perform our NRDA assessment that much better. The goal of this program that we tried to develop and I think we've succeeded on was the ability to bring scientists together that really work on oil spill or oil related activities um, and, and in many instances this is our second one um, about half of the audience of, or participants were uh, participated in the Exxon Valdez uh, accident and so that we're bringing a perspective of individuals that have that experience as well as the next generation of individuals. The importance of BP's involvement is to share uh, information that is gained as part of this incident to further the knowledge that might be associated with oil spills and the potential injury resulting from them. So it, it provides a forum where academics and government and BP can all collectively bring forward the data sets that they have been collecting, provide uh, the, the raw data themselves as well as interpretation, uh, review methodologies, and it provides for a form of peer review from a, a very wide uh, scientific community to provide input not only to the, the process of the, the NRD process as we move through it, but it also provides for a forum by which people can provide input to the interpretation.